First thing first, I cut my hair. Do you guys like it? I do this big chop once a year. It was time. It was time. So in today's video, as you guys saw by the title, we'll be talking about my favorite purchases, my favorite perfumes, most worn, just the top perfumes of 2020. Super excited for today's video, actually. Excited because I haven't recorded it in a while. I miss recording. Some of these, obviously, well, I mentioned a lot because they're my favorites. And others are more newer uh, purchases. And since I don't really record anymore, you guys haven't heard me talk about them. So I'm super excited to share them. I'm sure that you also have the top of the top, the best of the best, right? So that's always exciting to talk about. But before we get started, I want to share with you guys a necklace that I got gifted from Julia Jewelry. I've talked about them in the past. So it's a company that I really enjoy. I really like their stuff. It's a company that I've worked before. I also know that you guys really enjoy the company because after I did a whole on full on video about like engagement rings and my opinion on them and whatever i'll link it somewhere up there and down there and you know the gist i know that some of you guys after that video um bought from them what is the point of doing this it's it's so fun that's why okay so i know that some of you guys bought from them after that video and you guys told me that you enjoy their quality it's it's good quality stuff and they're pretty affordable so this time around i was actually gonna pick another ring i was gonna pick a moissanite ring it's like around a thousand dollars i think which is cheaper than a real diamond ring but i didn't want to be greedy <laughs> And I wanted to pick a more affordable piece that I can wear coming spring and summer. And I really like the way blue looks on my skin tone. And I also wanted to pick an affordable piece just in case you guys like it. Then you guys can buy it as well because who the hell is going to buy a thousand dollar ring, right? It just didn't seem right, you know, for me to like pick a thousand something dollar ring and other people can't buy it. it just makes no sense, right? So I decided to pick a more affordable piece. So I really like the way it looks. I have a really picky aunt <laughs> and um she doesn't buy like fake jewelry and she saw this on me she was like oh my god that looks so pretty and i was like right i know they also gave me a code i think i think they gave me a code so i'll put it up here and down there as well it's not an affiliate link or is it I'm not sure if it is i'll mention it down below if it's an affiliate link they were also running a black friday sale unfortunately though i just don't have time to record and i got the piece right there on the dot right before black friday and i like to try out my stuff before i mention it and i recommend it so it wasn't enough time for me to you know you know what i mean like try it out and be like i like it it's good or whatever so i have gone to the pool in this it is a little bit more yellow than i usually like but i surprisingly don't mind it i think when i'm even more tan in the summer it's gonna look great it looks great already but i think it's gonna look even better you know like all bronzy and stuff but i do think they're running like a winter uh sale as well if i'm not mistaken all that information is gonna be linked down below uh, you know so you can save your coin or whatever and once again thank you so much julia for sending me this piece i really like it and i really like your brand as well now let's get started with the video so i'm not gonna go in any particular order or am I gonna go in particular? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna pick and choose. I planned this video, but I didn't really plan this video. You know what I mean? Like, I knew what I was gonna talk about. I obviously picked the stuff that I enjoy the whole year, but I didn't strategically think, like, I'm gonna pick and choose, do some sort of order, a list. I guess since I didn't do that, I think I'm just gonna pick and choose. All right, so first, I'm gonna go with, um, Mm, I guess these are my honorary mentions. I've talked about them over and over and over again. Most of these I've talked about them over and over again. But Sophia and Cloud, these are the most affordable that I have here. And these are the ones that you guys know that I really enjoyed. I'm not going to go too deep into them, but they're great perfumes, super affordable. Highly recommend them, obviously. I know a lot of you guys have purchased Sophia and you guys really like it. I like it too. I'm glad that you like it as well. This is just a pretty juicy um, perfume. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great, great quality. Another one is Cloud. Um, this is one that when I got, I used so much, you guys. This is a one fluid ounce. This is a 30 ml. So I feel that the way that I was using it in the beginning, call me crazy. But when I, <laughs> when I first bought it, I was using it all the time. All the time. I love this stuff. In the beginning of the year and i quickly ran through half of this i used about like 15 ml it's just like halfway done i saw that i reached half of it and i stopped using it i got scared why i have no idea this is such an affordable perfume i know that i can buy it super discounted and yeah you know it i don't know why i did that but i am using it once again i'll let you guys know why i'm using it again but now i'm using this a lot 
as a topper this is a great layering perfume um to just layer with things that you feel like they need a little for example you like the scent of a perfume but you feel like it's not projecting as much it's probably not lasting as long this is a great topper i noticed that cloud really emphasizes the longevity of other perfumes all right another great layering perfume that i talked about a lot like maybe too much <laughs> is casablanca and this is a beautiful oriental perfume very distinct unique and different also amazing longevity amazing performance overall and a really great bang for your buck i think it's a great like niche quality it's very different very unique you're not going to find other people that smell like this it's also very pleasant and it's unisex it's very versatile i like to save my money i will say though even though it's unisex i've said this before i do find it leaning more feminine um, i wouldn't get thrown off if a guy wears this but i do think it's leaning a little bit more feminine yeah all right another one that i really really like or well two that i really like and enjoy is interplay extraits from alexandria fragrances and cacao dreams also from alexandria fragrances i'm sure you guys can see that i really liked it this is interplay extrait and i ran through this this is their clone of um baccarat rouge 540 the extrait version this was a huge compliment getter people love this stuff people go crazy over this stuff another great topper layering perfume i use this one as well for stuff that i felt like didn't project as much i really enjoy the scent but i feel like they needed that extra oomph that extra character great one great one on its own of course i mean like Macro Rouge 540 the Extrait smells amazing on its own. The Real One 540 Extrait, that's a pretty penny on its own, not to mention to use as a layering perfume. So this is why I stand by clones and replicas and stuff like that because they're affordable. And I mean, especially if you layer, you know, but whatever. Pretty much done. I talked about this one a lot as well. This is Cacao Dreams. This, you guys, is really similar to Wicked Goods from Gallagher Fragrances. Wicked Good is this really rich milk chocolate, super realistic. That's the most realistic chocolate I've ever smelled. It literally smells like melted milk chocolate. The thing with that one is it's in the opening and then it just kind of just dissipates and then it kind of becomes more of a skin scent and it becomes more uh, vanillic. I wasn't gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it now because <laughs> I wore it one day, like I just sprayed my arm. And it was super windy and I kept getting whiffs of it. And I was like, oh my God, this is one that, you know, works better in the wind. I guess it helps it project more. But what I did notice, it kept, like that vanilla was really rich. And I was like, it reminds me of something and I can't put my hand on it. Then I remember it was this one. The difference between the two, I think this one has a little bit more orange. This one reminds me of fresh orange vanilla um, baked cookies. And Gallagher fragrances, it doesn't have that orange, you know, scent in there, but they're pretty similar. So this is a really, really great one. It's also unisex. I think it smells amazing on guys. Every guy needs this in their collection, especially if you enjoy like sweet gourmand perfumes. Every guy needs this. This is so good, you guys. So, so good. All right. Another one that I loved and abuse is a manifesto from YSL. Don't ask me where the top is. I use this a lot as a night scent and this was my bed scent yesterday and I have no idea where the top is so I tried to find it I can't find it this is a very unique green vanilla super comfortable super smooth and soft and enveloping I find it to be very motherly I'm not a mother <laughs> it's a great perfume I think it's a classic very timeless and it's very different this is gorgeous 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 something about this i don't know what it is but something about this is super soothing effortlessly elegant all right another perfume that i talked about a lot is miss gemma di paradiso from roberto cavalli you guys know if you know you know if you're here from the beginning you know i love this stuff um amber uh put me onto this one um amber chantelle um <sighs> it's good i'm gonna link the video that um, made me want it it's a vacation sort of vanilla don't think like black opium don't think overly sweet also i'm going to finally put uh, an end to it not an end but a lot of you guys have asked me about my opinion on this and good girl by the way i have said in the past in the very beginning videos i have said that this one has a similar uh, quality to good girl so 
all right so i've said that in the past so don't come for me i have good girl my mom also has the legere version of good girl so i'm really familiar with the dna you know of good girl um i think this one has similar qualities um i think they have the similar vibe um and they have certain similar notes that have that similar scent profile in regards to being identical i do not think they're identical i think that good girl has this light masculine cologne scent and this one has a deeper i want to say more like a bourbon a vanilla scent it's a woody bourbon vanilla scent very beautiful um and i think it's more Mm, like heat appropriate whereas good girl i find it to be more cooler weather appropriate even though it's year round really and i would wear it really honestly and i have wear from morning to day it's a great transitional scent but this one i find it to be more vacation appropriate more heat appropriate it plays really well just in general with body chemistry and heat and it has that you know you know you know you know i don't need to explain a nine out of ten most of the people that have gotten this have really enjoyed it it's been a few people that don't like it or don't care for it which is you know fine we're all different like i ain't mad it's very distinct and i think a lot of guys also like this this is another great compliment getter um, i haven't really talked about this at all and this is from fragranza and this is signorina miele wow one of the most complimented perfumes in my collection this is y'all this is part of their um like clone inspiration section and this is a clone or inspiration of miss dior the sherry version the one that has the popcorn and strawberry note y'all this is so good so good i just think this perfume is one of those like attention grabbing you know you smell good and you want people to know that you smell good you know what i mean it's very very pleasant highly recommend from fragrance at my bottle um, leaked a little bit, but it's it is what it is. It's whatever. I really don't care. This is a really like IG Who's calling me now? Y'all don't leave me the hell alone Go to sorry. I can't talk right now All right <laughs> Pretty girl scent pretty girl scent. Me. another one that I talked about a whole lot recently since i got it this is the dolce e gabbana the only one intense armani Privé rouge malachi or malachite <sighs> every time i smell this i just think of that perfume um there's been so many times where i see a deal for that perfume and i'm about to grab it because the bottle the scent is beautiful i love the scent the thing is i already have stuff in my collection that smells super similar to that so that's what stops me every time and every time i smell this one i'm glad that i don't pull the trigger on that one because this smells super similar to that one and honestly i find this one even more intriguing as it has that green apple and coconut in there and the price difference is insane this one has been on fragrance x i thought it was a glitch at first apparently it's not because it's been on there for a while for like 37 dollars for the tester they're trying it low-key because this does not smell like a 37 dollars perfume you guys so highly recommend 10 out of 10 i love it this is my favorite perfume of the year and low-key i can't stand when people say that this smells like the only one no they don't the only one is caramel based and this one is a creamy white floral like get your nose in check girl like what there was some girl she was like i'm about to unfollow you with it bye 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 then bye <laughs> anyways whatever um another one is ysl libre I love this perfume this was my scent of the day for my birthday i had to work that day unfortunately but today's my day off so it's fine this was my scent of the day this is a great work scent it's a great like birthday scent it smells like a money honey it smells like money 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 i really like it it's a beautiful lavender based perfume there's also this like effervescent orange blossom it smells like champagne like bubbly it has a sparkling vibe it smells like money and ugh, it smells so rich i love it so much great great perfume it's a little bit musky it just smells like a woman it smells like a woman all right another one that i wore a lot not this one in particular is delina exclusive the one that i wore a lot was uh first kiss exclusive and first kiss from you guys know who but i finally bit the bullet especially because you know if i'm not really supporting a company you know so might as well you love the scent you like the bottle whatever so 
I got it. So I have Delina exclusive and I am going to get the original Delina. I think that they're both different enough to own. I think some people prefer the exclusive for good reasons and I think some people prefer the original Delina for good reasons but I think they're both great in my opinion to own both if you really like the scent and if you like both scent profiles. I love my fresh tart perfumes and that's what Delina is and I love my creamy perfumes and this is what the exclusive is. This one also has a little bit of powderiness but it's not like baby powder in my opinion and so it's like I have to own both of them because both are like my scent profiles you know what I mean one of the most beautiful most feminine perfumes in the whole wide world um, I think every woman needs a Delina in their life it also smells like money very distinct uh, scent profile I think this is a very great scent for people that are into perfumes um, even if you have like a lot of perfumes, I feel like you have one of the versions of Delina in your collection But I think it's a great distinct perfume even for people that just want to smell good and they want to have like that status You know what I mean sort of perfume and they don't have a huge collection, but they want to have that one good quality perfume Highly recommend Delina one of the Delinas um, another one that I wore a lot and this is one of my top perfumes for life is alien I love it alien has a special place in my heart in my perfume journey i think alien is a very distinct um scent not only scent profile but just a general scent as well uh very easily to pick if you know you know if you like it you like it if you don't you don't and this juice in here i think represents me quite well if i had a signature scent it would probably be alien <sighs> My favorite perfume it's i understand why people don't like it why y'all keep calling me i understand why certain people don't like this one it's very peculiar it's very peculiar it is but i also don't understand why don't you like it why don't you like it? why don't you like it i've read you know comments or whatever and people are like oh it smells like bug spray some stuff like that to each their own. I think it's beautiful. It's very provocative, very vampy. Uh, I think it matches actually well with my look for the day. All black, short hair, dark lips. I think it matches well. Look, thumbnail. <laughs> it's a beautiful perfume. It has a very special place in my heart. And if there's one scent that I would want people to remember me by, it would be Alien. I love it. I just think that it matches my personality i'm a fire sign and i think alien is a fire sign so another one would be alien essence absolute this year i think was the year for this perfume it's being sold for a ridiculous price is it worth it in my opinion it is i was actually going to buy it and i got lucky and i found it at an affordable price so i have backup on backup on backup i think i have a good three bottles at this point which is pretty excessive i'm not going to lie and i'm not an excessive person but that goes to show how much i love this perfume is it needed i don't know I don't know, especially now because I have other perfumes that kind of remind me of this one. Like, um, the only one intense has a similar DNA to this one as well. But if you like Alien, you're going to like this one. <laughs> like, you know, this is Alien, but with a more mentholy jasmine and an emphasis on the vanilla. It's literally Alien and vanilla. This full-on smells like vanilla extract. Um, Amber and I were talking and I was like, if I ever run out, I'm just gonna go to my pantry and I'm gonna spray on some vanilla extract. It literally smells like full-on vanilla extract, like baking vanilla extract. And it also has that booziness. Pause, go smell your vanilla extract in your kitchen pantry. Smell it, it has that alcohol boozy scent. This one also has that. For me, it's worth the price, but I don't recommend for you to spend too much money just because not everyone's going to like it. And um, I mean, or I guess if you find it, if you don't like it, you can resell it. I promise you it's going to sell. You've been warned. Okay, so um, another perfume. It's pretty new in my collection, but I really, really like it. One of my most unique perfumes in my collection. Is this even the right one? Hold on, let me smell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> First of all, I love the bottle. I also feel like this matches my outfit today. My look. 
I'm really digging the short hair. This is very unisex, like androgynous. Um, I feel this perfume is both for male and women. It smells to me like money, like old money. I think everyone needs this. Oh, I'm kidding, not everyone. It's not a safe blind buy, it's not. <laughs> it's very unique. I've never been to Dubai, but I feel like this is what all the women there smell like. You know, they're shopping. <sighs> but this is this is old money done right you're not trying too hard you're not tacky because there's some people that have money and are very tacky they're very um obnoxious they're loud with their money you can have money you can still be tacky those people that scream that they have money i find that so tacky so this does not smell like that to me this smells like i have money and i don't have to show it you just know by looking at me it's a beautiful spicy oody rose it's a little bit oh my god this is gorgeous you guys i layered this one with cloud beautiful beautiful this one a monster this is a monster i wore it to uh the office one day and someone complimented on me apparently i filled up the whole room someone in that video was like oh i don't like to fill up their whole room i don't like my scent to uh, present itself before i walk in and i was like to each their own honey okay i need everyone to smell me and it's been compared to oud satin mood if i'm not mistaken uh this also has no oud but to me it smells like as oud in my head it has oud okay i didn't know it was hard to get till i um did my like every perfume that every woman needs in their collection and a lot of you guys told me that you're not able to find this one i did not know that this one was highly coveted that's another one that if i had a signature scent it's another one that i would want people to remember me by that scent it has that very dominant personality another fire sign <laughs> all right another one that is discontinued as well and i really really enjoyed this year is michael kors twilight shimmer i just call it the purple michael kors this is one of the most unique perfumes also in my collection also very oriental i think it's a gourmand oriental whereas that one this one to me like dead ass like seriously it smells like maple syrup to me but like a dark boozy maple syrup it has also like a wine scent in there this is gorgeous this is like gourmand done right and it's not even categorized as a gourmand but this is beautiful i don't like gourmands that lean too cakey um, even though i have that one that smells like orange cookies but i have to be in the mood for that that to me is more of like a night sense i'm going to sleep you know what i mean even though i do like that on guys 24 7 you know what i mean <laughs> but this is one a gourmand that i enjoy just because i still feel like it has that like sex appeal i guess you could say um yeah this is one that like it screams holidays to me like christmas thanksgiving it has that vibe about it very beautiful very very beautiful scent it has that very oody oriental yet sweet scent um some people say that shagaf oud is the most like easy wearable oud introductory oud i think this is the most easy introductory oud why because it has that sweet quality about it i i really like it it's very unique it's nothing that i have in my collection so i really really enjoy it and i really like it so that's michael kors twilight shimmer also might be discontinued damn i have all these discontinued stuff all right another new one in my collection is valentino donna born in roma first of all i love the packaging of this i think it has a great sex appeal very chic yet edgy i love it i love it oh my god all these go well with what i'm wearing today <laughs> Brittany from pockets and bows she talked about it and i was like okay fine i'm just gonna get it like okay fine <laughs> it's been too long so i got it and i loved the opening the opening was just like juicy yet a little bit like tart and fresh yet sweet it's it was really really nice um the thing with it is that i feel like it kind of just dissipated quick and i feel like the dry down was more of like a softer version of the opening but i found myself being indecisive whether i wanted it or not i feel like it was pretty similar to leave when i first smelled leave it was just like whatever it's just another like regular perfume i don't care for it and i ended up falling in love with it and it's one of my favorites now so it's pretty much what happened with this one i kept wanting to go back to it and, and it wasn't until i wore it to work and i passed by a co-worker of mine and i saw that she did like one of these or whatever and you know whatever so i just kept walking and i go back to my desk and then hours later she comes back to me and she's like asking me a question and then she paused and she was like you smell really good she was like i was gonna tell you earlier but we kind of just like passed by each other quick but she was like you smell really good i was like oh wow thanks i didn't know that like 
you know, I had some sort of rejection and I didn't know others could smell it and that was my problem with it. Remember, I enjoy, of course, scents for myself, but I enjoy people to smell me. I want to be that girl that everyone knows that smells good. There was one weekend that I really wanted to test out like how it plays and I figured that it was going to be more of like an airy perfume, one of those that you think it's not doing the most, but it's really doing the most. So I sprayed it on my mom and she smelled so good. So I was like, okay, it's an airy perfume. So after that, I've been obsessively, obsessively wearing this one it's a baddie perfume also basically what britney said and it's also one that i enjoy to uh layer with other perfumes it makes a great great base it has this like muskiness actually my scent of the day is these two and <laughs> i smell bomb yesterday i had this one with girl of now shine bomb. girl of now shine also a new purchase um in my collection um, you guys saw me declutter Girl of Now, the original. That one, I was disappointed when I first got. It smelled like cough syrup to me. Um, it was more floral than I had anticipated. Um, until this day, I stand that the Girl of Now's, um, they are like a syrupy flower. Like a syrupy orange blossom, a syrupy flower. That's what they smell like. I, I expected them to be more gourmand, yada yada. This one though, on the other hand, it still smells like the original, but this one is less obnoxious. I find that the original Girl of Now, I don't want to say screechy, but it is sharp. And that orange blossom can be obnoxious. This one though, on the other hand, <laughs> it's really good. Like I said, it smells like the original, but this one is more well blended. This one also has a buttery scent to it. It almost smells like butter would be a note in here, you know? It has a buttery scent to it. And there's someone else, I don't remember who. It was probably one of the girls. We were talking about this one, and I think it was, was it Takara or Bex? one of them described this um smelling like butter and i agree with that it has a buttery like almost like a buttery cookie scent you know those christmas cookies the blue box everyone has them if you're hispanic your grandma probably uses that as a sewing kit well this to me smells like one of those buttery cookies but like in a perfume uh way this is like sweater weather scent oh my god this is really really good um i was washing my clothes the other day and i was like what's that scent what's that scent it was this one it was this this was really so good follow so me on instagram you probably know what i think about this bottle but this is or what i call this bottle but this is kenzo lelixer this is such an obnoxious bottle i got the big boy i got the 3.4 this is awkward to hold use your imagination as to what i think of this if you don't follow me on there but this is mm, mm. but i don't know if you guys can see because of the light Hold on, let me see. Can you see? I hope you can see, but this is pretty new. I got this this week. I got this uh, the day of my birthday, I think. Oh, by the way, it was my birthday December 8th, so happy birthday to me. You guys are welcome to send me a gift, okay? <laughs> uh, my cash app is... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, I'm kidding, not kidding. If you want to, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to stop you. Seriously, don't send me stuff, but... Um, I got this um, and it smells so good, so good. Um, it is true. It has a similar scent profile to product candy. Um, I'm going to talk about product candy in another video, but product candy is the one that I really liked Then I didn't like it. I had a bottle. I sold it because I didn't care for it anymore. And then recently I've been in a product candy kick. I kind of miss that scent. Um, but I always wanted this perfume. I've heard a couple of people talk about it. I think Emmy was one of them. Uh, Takara was also one of them. So I always wanted this perfume and I'm super, super happy to have it in my collection. It is worth the love that it gets. I don't want to say the hype because you guys know about, you know, that word. I don't like that word, but it is worth the, the, the love that it gets here on YouTube. It's a really, really, really nice scent. I think it is actually better than Prada Candy, I'm not gonna lie. It has really good longevity. It's another one that when I was doing my laundry, it I smelled it on um, one of my sweaters and it smells really good. Also plays beautiful in the wind. If you are a gourmand lover, if you like sweet perfumes, I think you would like it. Even if you're not a gourmand lover, like I'm not, um, I enjoy it because I just like sweet perfumes in general whether they're fresh oriental they all have to have some sort of sweetness into it I'm a girl and I like to smell sweet it has a more emphasis on the vanilla and the praline it's beautiful beautiful so that's pretty much it for today's video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it these are my top 
top perfumes of the year my most worn even if they're new i've been obsessively wearing them most talked about highly recommend if you guys want deeper descriptions of all of them most of these i have talked about them in the past so you guys are welcome to check out my channel and just watch those videos if you are not subscribed already please subscribe it helps me out a lot especially if you guys keep coming back also give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it of course and as always i hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye guys